in the last 24 hours or so, I've seen uh, some headlines uh, that almost giddily uh, celebrate the death of Hugo Chavez. Um, some say uh, the dictator is dead, um, uh, you know, goodbye Chavez, that kind of thing. And uh, you know, number one, that's, that's extremely in, inhumane. I mean, the man died of, of, of cancer. And uh, anyone who knows anything about cancer death is a horrible death. I lost both my parents and a beloved niece to, to cancer. But more than that, I mean, calling him a, a dictator uh, and, uh, and, and criticizing the, the quality of the uh, democracy there in, in Venezuela, I think it's, it's self-righteous and, and hypocritical on our part. He was democratically elected. Now, he was too heavy-handed at times uh, and too tol to, to, totalitarian uh, for my taste, but he was democratically uh, elected. And, uh, you know, we should look at our own elections. I mean, this past election, we saw that uh, we saw a major effort, well-funded effort, uh, to try to keep people from voting, which is really to, trying to keep America from being fully democratic. Uh, and then the two elections before them were, were uh, for that one, you know, problematic too. Uh, the first election of George Bush, um, he was not elected, he was selected. He actually lost the popular vote. And the second uh, election just had so many irregularities with the voting machines with, and, uh, and I've seen st studies that show that it was statistically impossible for him to have won that election by the vote. So uh, rather than pointing our finger uh, at Chavez and those in other countries and self-righteously talking about how democratic we are, we really need to look at how democratic we really are because the reality of it is that Chavez, for all of his excesses, he raised the living standard in Venezuela and he... Um, he, he, he shortened, he narrowed the income inequality gap, something that we have not done here in this country. And so it, I think we should take a much more humane and a much more self-reflective look at uh, countries and leaders around, around the world before we pat ourselves on the back about how exceptional we, we are in America.